Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I usually upload two videos a week, sometimes more. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Autobots, roll out! Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime, and today I wanted to make a review on the Transformers movie TS-01 Transcan Optimus Prime. Unfortunately, when I took this figure off the shelf to start cleaning it and preparing it for the review, it became very obvious that the figure has not aged well, and it started falling apart at very crucial joints, and it is going to be impossible for me to show off the figure out of the box and go over the transformation and, uh, and, and and all the details that I usually like to present. Um, so we're just going to look at it in the box here. Um, I wanted to continue with the tradition of showing off every Optimus Prime that I possibly can on this channel. I do want to make this the most comprehensive Optimus Prime review. So we're just going to have to look at it on the uh, in, in the box here. Uh, originally released in 2008, it was a Japanese exclusive figure which retailed for 3,800 yen, which at the time of release was approximately $30. And what I want, this is a really, really cool concept of a figure. It's not a great toy, but it's an amazing display piece, something along the lines of maybe a Gundam, uh, if you're into that kind of thing, where, which I am, by the way. I, I, I love uh, building and displaying Gundams. And that's kind of what this was, because this gave you a core figure, which you can see right here in the middle. And then you had a whole bunch of different armor plating which you could put onto the figure, and then it would—it was kind of two figures in one because you would get if you played it in with the alien plates, you could get the protoform Optimus Prime, which you could transform into the, you know, the entry mode or the meteorite mode, whatever you want to call that, and then you can remove those plates and put on the uh, the Earth plates or the truck plates, and then you could have the Optimus Prime that actually looked like the robot in the movie that also transformed into the Peterbilt truck which was very very cool i had originally planned this was a figure that i got a couple of of requests for so i figured uh to go ahead and do it and what i had originally planned was i was going to make a two-part review on this figure one was going to be the alien protoform version and then the second part was going to be the truck mode so here he is in the packaging and uh yeah it's it's we'll try to get in close and and, and see what we can see through the packaging the joints that broke are the joint on the back of the head the shoulders and the hips and i have tried over the last couple of weeks multiple methods of 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 gluing them or in plastic welding them and it, and just it just will not hold the plastic that silver painted plastic has become very brittle and it's very similar to i i, I at this point i'd say this is very similar to gold plastic syndrome like you would see on a beast wars like a transmetal uh, uh, Megatron, maybe. It's become very, very brittle and, and near impossible to work with. So at this point, I've decided to just package them up and, uh, and and leave them in the box. But you can see the figure in there, which is a very cool figure because it actually gives you kind of like a... It's very Terminator looking. It is a very cool little figure and it is insanely post every uh, or posable. Every joint is a double joint. It's got double joints on the necks, three joints on the shoulders, two joints on the elbow plus a swivel two joints on the wrist with a swivel joint at the uh at the, at the waist a joint at the hips another joint at the thigh double joint and swivels at the knees the three joints at the ankles with swivels this figure is insanely posable very 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 cool figure but again it's very fiddly um i remember when i spent my time in korea it was it was very popular for kids to have these kind of these thinking toys or these building toys or these displaying toys not something you could just grab in your hand and just kind of run around and bang into each other you have to build it you have to think about how you want to display you customize it to what you want and then you put them up on display and then later you can change them up and display them in a different way and that's that's really what this is intended for and turning the, the box around the back you can again you can see some art 
on the figure itself. So you can see that core body right there, which is really cool. The core body, uh, in fact, here in the in in Earth mode, I measured him in Earth mode before I took him apart. And he stands approximately five inches tall. Uh, so it's about the size of a warrior figure. If you think of the warrior size figures for, say, R.I.D. in the last year or two, it's about that size figure. And you can see the core robot right there. And very Terminator looking. Again, very evil looking, very menacing looking robot. Very, very cool. And then over here you can see when, what he looks like with the plates in the protoform. And then what he looks like in the entry mode, which admittedly is not a great entry mode. Um, he also does come with a stand. A very cool stand, so you can put him in flight poses, or you can also pose the entry. You can you can set up the entry mode there, so it looks like it's actually flying or coming down. So it's very cool that it even brought that. Uh, but admittedly, that entry mode really just does look like the robot is just folded up, and it does it doesn't look great. <laughs> Probably the weakest out of all the modes is that entry mode. And then if you remove all of those plates again, you know you can set these up, and you've got yourself the Earth mode, the Peterbilt mode, the truck mode. For, for this figure is absolutely stunning. All the silver paints on the on, on the grill and on the on the pipes and on the wheels and all the detail, the paint job and the detail on this truck is stunning and beautiful. It is or it is a, 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 that's probably what saddens me the most is that I can't show off that mode because it's just a gorgeous gorgeous truck mode. I really like it a lot. And then you've got the the robot mode itself, which admittedly is very kibbly. Uh, because you can see the entire sleeper portion of the truck here sits on his back. However, uh, there's a couple of options, uh, things you can do here. Uh, again, really revolves around the customization of this figure. The pipes back here, you can see he's got like the, the tanks and the smoke pipes and everything in the back here. These actually fold out and come under his arm and transform in the guns. So he has these underarm slung uh, cannons, kind of like a Cybertron Optimus Prime. Uh, which is very, very cool. And then again, do remember that all of these panels and armor plates, you put those on there, they're also very easily removable. Yeah, it kind of goes into the parts forming, but that's kind of what this whole figure is. It really is a parts forming kind of a kit thing. So the way that I used to display with this when I was on my, it, when it was on my shelf was the robot mode and then this back part here would just be removed because it is, in fact, optional. You don't have to display it with the back pieces. And without that, just, I mean, I know this is very, kind of give you the idea, but not, not really great. But just like that, the robot mode without that cable on the back actually looked really, really nice. And I wanted to show you the, what, what it looked like with both with the, you know, with the cab on the back or the sleeper on the back and without it, uh, again, you know, without the sleepers, the way I displayed it, and I thought it looked really, really nice. So, yeah, very cool figure. Again, this originally released for about $30 back in the day. You had to get it import. I found this at a comic book store. I think I paid around 30 maybe 40 for it. I bought this years and years and years ago at my local comic book store, so it's been a while. I don't remember quite well. Um, there, They are available online. I have seen these on Big Back Toy Stores. They're going for about $65. I don't know if it's a re-release or a reissue, or if it's just old stock of this figure. Um, for for $65, to me personally, it's not worth repurchasing the figure, especially if I don't know if it's a reissue or an original. If it's an original, I absolutely, I won't pay $5 for an original. One of these, knowing what I know now that, these fi that the plastic on this figure is so brittle. Um, so like I said, I bought this brand new. Uh, on the secondary market, uh, grant you, but it was brand new. I am the only owner of this figure. And uh, so this has been sitting on my shelf since I purchased it, and, and, and that happened to me. It's it's saddening and unfortunate. So, no, I wouldn't pay $5 for an original one of these if it's going to just break again. Uh, for a re-release, maybe I, I, I would be inclined into purchasing this figure because I do like this figure a lot. I love it. It is such an interesting piece. It is such an interesting conversation starter because this is not something that we typically see in the state so when people see my collection they a lot of times point to this and and it just really is a great conversation piece and i love the idea of the kit forming where you can choose one figure or the other and display it or you can just display it in one way for a while change it up display it another way i absolutely love that about this figure i love these thinking toys i like building gundams so this is really right up my alley for a reissue re-release um 
I don't know. Um, you know, 65, I, I'm not willing to pay 65, not at the time. Maybe I'm just a little sour right now because of all this breaking the way it did. Uh, maybe if it went down a little bit, if I knew it was a reissue or a re-release, that's the thing. I don't know if the ones that I'm seeing online are reissues. I've not heard of a reissue for this. So if it's a reissue, if it really is a new, fi a newer figure, then I might be inclined uh to purchase it again because i really do like having this on my shelf so all right so there it is guys it's kind of short this week unfortunately i couldn't do more uh i really i wanted to, i had big plans for this figure uh, like i said i wanted to make a two-part video for this one for the protoform entry mode one for the robot mode vehicle mode um you know i wanted to actually build it on camera on camera show you guys how the panels all went on the figure all of that but unfortunately we won't be able to do that this guy is going right back in the box the way it is, and that's going to be displayed in package now. So, which I'm not an in-package um, displayer. All my figures are out of the package. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of uh, you know out of left field for me. But that's the only option that I got. And that about covers the Transformers movie TS01 Transcan Optimus Prime. What did you think of this box? <laughs> what would you like to see me review next? Let me know by leaving me a comment. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I make a new video. Please share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.